Good morning and welcome. Jilly Cube, I'm here on the Sunshine Coast. I am going to do a pour for you today, but before I start, I just want to give you an update on this piece that I'm just about to give a gloss coating to with my uh, fusion pouring medium. I have got videos out on this method, but I have, get asked all the time, so I thought I'd give you a quick demo actually that's too much water let me pour it back into i just put a little bit of water in a jug or container or vice versa i found it works either way so I'll just start off with i just want to do enough it doesn't matter that the water's gone on there because this fusion pouring resin it isn't a traditional resin as you know because you can't normally mix oh now i can't get the lid off you can't normally mix resin with water, the normal resin that you mix, but this is bought pre-made up and I always put a bit of water in there. Um, and then I don't, if I put water into it and mix it up, I don't have any cracking, but I have used it neat and poured that over and I had cracking on it. So I don't know, just to add in that bit of water as you see I don't measure so I've put before I put more water in and it makes it less shiny or and then you can go over a second quote coat not so diluted what I want to show you in this is I want to put a bit of sparkle in my artwork so I am um, I'm going to put a little bit of the dragonfly glaze into my pouring resin and it doesn't really matter what color you use it just gives you putting a little bit into my pouring resin it just gives this you know sparkle so and I I don't I, whatever color I've got at the time I just squirt a bit of the dragonfly glaze in there not too much doesn't need very much and you just give it a really good stir in. So you, you're getting a bonus today. You're getting this uh, coating your paint plus a pour. So I just keep getting asked, even though I have got videos out particularly showing you. So there you go. It's actually sparkling like diamonds. So the next step, I just have got a Chuck's kitchen clothy thing and I've just damp I just had it damp and then I just fold it and then I pour some on doesn't matter where and then like this is such an easy quick and I just go all over it very quickly first coat just like that so that's all I'll put on for the first coat you can do your edges as well run your cloth down your edges and and then all it does is takes just about 10 or 15 minutes to dry that's all and then I just recoat it again you can do it as many times as you like and it builds up a shine but if you don't want it too shiny then two coats is plenty so I find that you don't get any um, marks, like brush marks or anything, doing it this way. And that's it. It's done. You've coated your work with a gloss coating. I was going to resin that, but I thought when you do resin, you get a really strong reflection. Um, so I'm just doing it that way. So I'll get on with my pour now. So, on with the pour. Um, just, just to let you know, that the cloth that I wipe wiped that over with the varnish on. I keep in an airtight container um, because it's damp and then when you go for your next coat it, it's, it keeps nicely in there. Also if you do make up some of that mixture with the water and the fusion pouring resin it's good to keep it in a container and then when you want to give one of your pieces of work you can do it very quickly if it's all done. So keep any containers this one is from the yogurt, this is just a yogurt container of one of my favourite yogurts in Australia, plant based. Vanilla bean, absolutely gorgeous yogurt. Yeah. Anyway, on with the on with the show. Rightio, quickly. I just want to try and do a different composition. So I'm using 
a acrylic pen. I haven't tested if this is exactly in the center because I am not that type of person. I don't usually like things centered or straight. If I'm hanging a picture, I'll hang it to one side or the other. I don't like things in the middle. I don't, I'm not that structured, structured person. So just to show you. So it's just giving me a guide because that will be covered up with paint and because it's an acrylic pen, it will dissolve with the rest of the paints. So, 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 rightio, I'm going to, um, my trusty white, actually, yeah, I might use this bit that I've got in there too, it's just a bit that I had in a cup, so this is, um, I'm just going to play it by ear as I go along with this, I have something in my mind, but if I tell you what it I have in my mind, it's bound to go um, off tether and, and in a different direction. So it's better to just let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Pour your heart out, let it flow. Whatever suits you, whatever rocks your boat, floats your boat. So all, all this is about really is to enjoy the process. If you get people to love your art, buy it, and admire it then you know that's that's an added bonus but if you're doing it just for your self gratification and because you love to do it then it doesn't matter what anybody else says or thinks even though I do let people comments bother me when I'm not in a very um, content mood <laughs> I've got no reason not to be content I'll tell you because I'm very blessed we both worked hard, my husband and I, so what we've got is definitely by hard work. We have not inherited or come into anything, but we've worked hard and we're at our age now that we're able to do the things we love. And mine is my art, and my husband is more mechanical minded, and his is at the moment is right into building hovercrafts, which are not very heard about in Australia but he hopes to one day for us to fly to America to buy a kit from America to have sent to Australia. So if anybody out there knows a husband that knows good kits for hovercrafts in the US, I think they're mostly uh, used in the US, but the, yeah so that's just a little bit of absolutely nonsense, <laughs> just talking, there you go. So radio, I'm excited because I'm going to use some bright colours and so I'm just going to do a multi kind of, so that's orange and it's mixed with yellow to make it nice and bright. So you know that I love my bright colours so it's always nice to have a play with your colours you love even though there's lots of people like your earthy colours and um, it, you've got to do what gives you joy and then you do some other bits as well if you so choose to. But it's all up to you. Nobody forces you to do it. It's all part of the joy. So this one is the cool red. It's kind of looking like a big sundial at the moment, which is absolutely fine. some blue yeah this is phalo blue and this has got a good squirt of my pearl mist in it so it's got the sparkle in it I'm hoping to get this to look feathery 
the way I've been using the hair dryer from side to side of late has got created like a, a feathering effect and I've really um, enjoyed the look and enjoyed the process so do what gives you joy as I say. white in there. There's that one. Um, now I'm gonna just put a, I'm hoping to do something as well with this centre a bit. But for the beginning I might just blow this out first and then work on the centre. Give that a go. Kind of, yes, why not? So, okie doke. I don't want to make this video too long for you. Uh, that blue, because I put some of the pearl mist in it, it is just sheeny, shiny, beautiful, like a glistening. So my Mighty But Mini, Mighty But Mini. Let's give this a go. So... No, hang on, I need some more white to give it some oomph to blow. Actually, I might have just needed the dryer on the next level. That was only on a... Yeah, <laughs> there's the uh, gecko saying, yeah, just that. I just didn't want to blow it everywhere. Let's try again. That's better. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. That is gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Shaky dryer from side to side, and it gives like a good feathering effect. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy with that. That needs a little bit more. To give it some bump, bumpy stuff. Wow, love it. Side to side. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it gives like, it feathers it. It sort of, yeah. I'm going to just do this bit again. Get right over the corner then. Yes. I love this. This blue is just popping in this and it's absolutely sheeny shiny love it rightio let's put some color in here now definitely got to use some of that blue that blue just really makes the other colors pop so it's really like a multicolor starburst of color it's you beaut and i love it Ooh, now I'm not sure whether to try and blow a bit of this out. Oh, if I ruin the rest, I'll be so sad because that is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Definitely have a go with your dryer at wiggle in it because it gives a really lovely feather effect. I'm just gonna have a little go. Oh, wish me luck.
<laughs> <Gecko>. <laughs> He's nervous for me. <laughs> Rightio, I'm going to only do in the centre. I'm going to work with the balloon and try and get rid of a bit of this paint. Um, maybe I should have used a really big balloon. Might have done it. Let's try it. So wiping the balloon off after every kiss. Oh, they're lovely. Because it'll... Um, take some of that paint off but leave all that colour there look at that it's like ring a ring of roses pocket full of poses oh yeah baby that's cute not you puppy he's looking up at me as if to say you're talking about me again mommy my dog oh that's gorgeous wow that is definitely Superstar burst posy. That's gorgeous. That's taken away a bit of the paint. That I am so happy with that. I love it. Love it. And I'm allowed to say so. I'm just gonna drag a few little wispy bits out. Probably doesn't need it. Just do, if you're going to have a go at this, just, you know, make it your own. You, you get ideas from, um, you know, internet YouTubers, but you really make something your own and that is absolutely standing out. I might leave it to dry a bit and get my teeny tiny balloon to kiss in, in the very centre of those flowers. But, you know, that is so bright and vibrant. I'm really, really happy with the colours coming out. Give that a go of doing the... What name shall we call it? The Aussie Swing? The Aussie Shake? <laughs> Think of a name we can call that style where you wiggle. Aussie Wiggle, it's the Wiggles. I love it. I'm going to just finish off my very edges. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, Things like this with lots of colour that turn out well give me so much joy. So I am very happy with my piece of art. So I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. I will say bye for now, you lovely people. Until tomorrow, join me then. I'm here every single day putting a video out. So please join me. Okie doke. Bye for now.